Hey everyone, it's Laura Madrigano. I help people learn natural ways to prevent and manage their SVT. And today I am going to take you with me to Whole Foods so that you can see what I purchase, what I buy on a weekly or bi-weekly basis to keep my fridge and pantry stocked with lots of healthy options so that you do not reach for the foods that trigger SVT. So just wanted to show you that I keep one of these hand sanitizers in my car. I'm obsessed. I literally use it every single time I get back in my car before I touch anything. Once you get in the habit of doing this, it's great. And this is one of the things that will help you avoid touching your nose. Like right now I have an itch and I want to touch it. So I already sanitized. So um, I'm really super aware of that washing my hands and plus I'll show you this apple cider vinegar that I just bought which I have every morning and I really think that that helps you um, build your immune system and not get sick during the cold winter months. Okay everybody I am ready to show you what I purchased at Whole Foods. So I'm just going to take you through in no particular order. Um, so that I can give you some inspiration and ideas. Um, you can see exactly what is in my SVT prevention kitchen. I use a lot of beans. So these are French lentils, which I really like a lot. And these are organic red lentils. So sometimes I use these in soups. Sometimes I will just cook them up and saute them with some garlic um, and onion and veggies and put them over a salad. But these are great to keep in the house and they are organic. Um, Moving on to some things that um, I put on top of salads. I really like these sunflower seeds. I use these on top of salads just for extra crunch. They help, you know, if you are used to eating croutons and you're not doing that anymore since you're gluten free. Um, I get these organic walnuts. Walnuts are amazing uh, brain food. They have omega threes. So I really like to incorporate um, walnuts into my diet. I put them in smoothies on top of salads and on top of yogurt. So I'll just jump over here. This is the um, yogurt I buy, the Forager Organic Cashew Yogurt. So this is a dairy-free yogurt option. And um, as you can see, if you get like a full snapshot of everything, you can see how little dairy um, I buy. So um, on the SVT prevention diet, I really encourage you to drastically reduce your dairy. Um, I explain it all in my SVT prevention diet ebook, which I will link below. But the, the little dairy that I did buy, um, this is a sheep's milk uh, grated cheese. So sometimes sheep's milk and goat um, goat milk can be easier to digest. So I do like to get that for the rare occasion that I'm, I'm gonna have a little bit of Parmesan on something. And then this is just a nice seaside cheddar that um, I, I'll be using for my kids tonight. I'm making them tacos, which brings me to this uh, taco seasoning. You can find taco seasoning that is gluten-free. This one is made with rice flour, so this is a good option. Um, I won't be having the shredded cheese tonight, and um, and I'll be making two options. So I'll, I'll make them a uh, regular ground beef option, and then I make a black bean option, which is the option that I'll have. So I'll I'll season you know both with these two packets, and they um, honestly taste exactly the same. You could even mix your beans in with your taco meat to just get um, you know less meat and more fiber in there when you have tacos. Okay, so moving on, um, these are the uh, tuna cans that I buy. Now, I, I'm not sure that I'm thrilled with actually eating anything out of a can, but just to upgrade your tuna in general, if you are eating it out of a can, these do not have soy filler, so be very careful with the tuna that you buy. Lots of tuna has soy as an ingredient, which is really just a filler, and that is the exact kind of soy that you want to avoid, is soy fillers. Um, that is totally linked to breast cancers and other cancers. Okay, these are the Hue chocolates that I am obsessed with. They were on sale, so I bought a bunch. And I never tried these two flavors. I've had the almond butter and puffed quinoa. Delicious. They were out of my favorite, which is the hazelnut, and I'm trying this crunchy mint. So let's just discuss this Hue chocolate. I actually did a blog post on this. These, oh look at, these are amazing. So no palm oil, no refined sugar, no cane sugar, no sugar alcohols, no dairy, no gluten. 
no emulsifiers, no, no soy lecithin. So, I mean, this is just such a clean, healthy option for people that want to have chocolate. If you think that you're being triggered by chocolate and sugar, you probably are, but eventually when you clean things up and you can layer chocolate back in, this is a, an amazing option. So moving over to here, some of these um, pantry items that I stock, I always just have some white quinoa. Quinoa is so easy to make. I tell you how to make it in the guide. I make this um, as an option a lot when you want any kind of a gluten-free grain. Everything here obviously is gonna be naturally gluten-free. I really like these little um, lentil penne's. And again, another great way to have a healthy, naturally gluten-free option because that's a big, big topic that I talk about. I don't want you just buying a bunch of like gluten-free muffins and gluten-free junk. Like I really want you to be naturally gluten-free. So these are ways to be naturally gluten-free. Basmati rice um, is, is a really nice um, option sometimes to have instead of brown rice, even though I do like brown rice a lot. Basmati is a little bit lighter and I think it has a beautiful flavor. If you mix that with a little coconut oil, um, I think you will love it. Then back here, um, this is on sale, this uh, almond flour made from whole almonds. Uh, this I bake with a lot. So if you're gonna make cookies or um, or banana loaf or anything like that, this is a great flour to have on hand. And then I bought these organic corn grits. I do like to make polenta once in a while, and when I do make it, I make it with a ton of like broccoli rabe with garlic. So those are some good um, options for some naturally gluten-free ideas. And I did also buy this one. Let's see, what is this? This is the um, gluten-free pasta made from 100% organic brown rice. If you have kids, they usually like these little bow tie pastas, so this is another one to have on hand. Okay, let's see, what else can I show you? Um, I bought this vegan pesto. I'm gonna try this because, you know, listen, not you don't wanna have to cook every single day for yourself from scratch, so this is a great option. You can make this with maybe those, um, with those green lentil pasta, uh, uh, penne that I bought and you could even so I'll, I'll get over to here and I'll show you some of the frozen things I always keep some organic peas in the freezer so that can be like a, a fast healthy lunch you can do the lentil pasta with organic peas maybe even some broccoli and then put the pesto on top and that is like a crazy delicious healthy lunch or dinner okay what else did I get so over here these are the organic wild blueberries I use these all the time this is a smoothie staple I think I bought five bags I can't be bothered to go back frequently to the store so I try to buy a lot when I do go I always get this organic baby spinach and I keep this in the freezer as well and I put a handful of this in my smoothies every day of course bananas but I already had that I already have a lot of my smoothie ingredients I'll do a different video where I show you that. So these are, like I said, the wild blueberries, the peas. Um, these I buy for my kids. These have no antibiotics, the chicken maple sausage. They'll have this for a quick breakfast for school. And I do like a piece of like smoked salmon on salad for lunch sometimes. Um, this one says that it's responsibly farmed. I generally, generally steer away from any kind of farmed salmon and go for the wild. But this just, I don't know, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna believe them. I'll do a little research, but it seems like um, maybe, we're gonna see what responsibly farmed means. It says it on the back, which I read, which is um, that, the, you know, the, that they're not crowded and that they um, are fed premium nutrient dense food. So I don't know, I'll have to do a little research, but again, like, I, you know, you don't wanna have to, you do wanna have some fast options. When you are preventing SVT, you can't be cooking from scratch all day long. So like, you know, having a quick salad, just heating this up in a pan, throwing it on top, delicious, healthy, you're getting your omegas. Um, your fat fiber protein is the way that I eat and I fully, fully explain that in the SVT prevention diet ebook so I hope that you check that out because I will explain um, why it's so important to eat fat fiber protein at every meal how it helps prevent SVT how it helps reduce sugar cravings okay so moving on over here I always get a huge bag of organic carrots um, this uh, lettuce I normally buy I have to tell you the truth I normally buy the organic romaine three heads in the bag but I'm um, not sure where you live but there's like a romaine scare happening right now so nobody has romaine because um, people were getting sick from it 
This is my bag of three huge uh, celery um, stalks. No, they're not called stalks. What are those called? Well, celery bunches. There you go. And I'm obsessed with the celery juice right now. You probably are too. I can't wait to read Liver Detox. And um, I mean, I'm, I'm a big believer in all fresh green juices, but I've been doing just celery um, every day. So there's my celery. This is a new salsa I'm trying. I do like salsa and um, I recommend salsa and chips as one of the gluten-free healthy snack ideas. Everybody likes a chip. If you are not familiar yet with Siete brands, these are grain-free tortilla chips. So if you're naturally gluten-free, even if you're paleo, these are okay. They come in lots of delicious flavors. I like that a lot. Um, this is the bread that I keep in my, my freezer for a gluten-free bread option. I don't honestly have it that, that often, but if I'm ever really dying for a piece of toast with like eggs for breakfast or something with jelly, this is the bread that I'll use. I always, always, always buy these organic cucumbers. I dip these in hummus, cut them up on top of my salad. Cucumbers are amazing. They're very hydrating. I love the organic ones. Obsessed with these sliced shiitakes. I just basically rinse these really super fast and put them in everything that I make if you're doing like any kind of you know veggie dish. So I will link the blog post below where I discuss these um, roasted shiitake mushrooms. They are so delicious and nutritious for a healthy snack. Next, I bought some avocados, which will ripen up. I love to use avocados as a healthy fat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner on salads. And of course, I just have here some organic grape tomatoes. Now, this is the um, apple cider vinegar that I wanna talk about. So, vinegar in general is probably one of my personal least favorite foods. It used to be one of my, my SVT triggers. I think that a lot of vinegars can trigger SVT, so be super careful. Just check in with your own intuition how you feel about vinegar. But if you are going to have vinegar, I really like this brand, Bragg's Organic Raw Unfiltered Apple Cider Vinegar. I have been putting a tablespoon of this in warm water every morning with lemon and uh, I sprinkle in some turmeric powder and I have been loving it. I have not been sick once yet this season and everyone else in my family has and I have avoided it. So if you're going to use vinegar, this is the one that I recommend. I was out of olive oil, so I'm trying this one. This is probably the most expensive thing that I bought. So definitely source your organic um, extra virgin olive oil. This is the first time I'm buying a Greek one. I usually use Italian. You generally want it cold pressed, so look out for that. Love these little organic um, mini peppers. These are another great little snack to dip in hummus just for some nice crunch when you want a fast snack. So uh, let's see if I forgot to show you anything. Okay, I'm trying these. I never had these before, but anytime I buy um, meat, for the family, I always try to make sure that there's no antibiotics, no nitrates, and no added hormones. Wednesday night is Italian night in our family for dinner. We try to have themes like Taco Tuesday and Italian Wednesday, Meatless Monday. That kind of makes it easier, by the way, when you are cooking for a family. If you kind of try to keep to themes, then you're never gonna be stuck with like, oh, what do I have to make for dinner tonight? You can just kind of go back to your theme and then figure it out. Um, Andrew, my hubby, taught me that. He, he had that in his family every night, and I resisted it for so long, but now that I finally uh, go along with the program, it really is fun and, and easy. So these I'm gonna try out. I'm, you know, I'm really careful with the meats that I buy, um, but you know, we'll see. We'll see if, the, if everybody likes this, this brand. And what I'll do for Italian night is I'll probably uh, cook this up. I'll put this in the toaster oven, cook that, warm that up, and I'll maybe make it with some of the farfalle pasta, and then I'll always do um, a green on the side. This is the organic broccoli that I bought. 
We eat broccoli, honestly, in my house almost every single night. I figure out a way to put broccoli in everything. So I think I showed you all of that, except for those Rayo sauces um, back there. These were on sale two for $9. If you buy Rayos, you know that that's really inexpensive. But um, I always keep a jar, a glass jar of tomato sauce in the house because you never know when you need it and when you don't feel like making fresh sauce. Oh, and I forgot to show you the star here, which is my um, uh, Vital Farms pasture raised organic eggs. I'm obsessed with this company. I watched one of the people that I follow on Instagram toured the Vital Farms um, to just show, you know, how amazing these chickens are being raised. And um, here, there you go, ethical eggs. So really just be careful with um, your dairy. And so as a generalization, you can see that there's lots of veggies, lots of naturally gluten-free whole grains, healthy snacks, smart meats, clean, clean sweets here. And um, this is just a typical, typical day to Whole Foods. I try to go to Whole Foods maybe once every two weeks. And next I will show you um, what I get at some of the other food stores that I go to. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing what's in my shopping bags from Whole Foods and what I keep in my SVT prevention kitchen. And if you like um, these videos, please like and subscribe to my channel below.